State, Florida, Florida State. And what a game that was. Uh, that was such a good <laughs> game, man. Yo, know, I was on the show, and shout out to Foobs, Andrew Fulbert. We were on his show last night, NSD. And uh, I know I was watching it. No, you guys are watching it. We're all kind of looking over uh, the side. Like, oh, Florida State scored again. Oh, Florida scored again. I mean, man, look, so and, back and forth. Like that's that was the crazy part. And it was at one point it was 38-24. And but I never had that feeling that it was over. Like I was kind of like, okay, Richardson, what you got? What you got? And when he brought them Ooh. back and tied it, I was like, Oh, here we go. Here we go. But in Florida in our Florida State ended up pulling it out late. And and shout out to Norvell. Mike Norvell, yeah. I, one of the things I heard uh, last um last night was that he Everywhere he goes, every he goes, his teams, his offense averaged 30 points a game. You know, he That's does impressive. something right. Yeah. Especially for Florida State kind of putting them back on the map. I yeah. love that. Well, and people were calling for his head at the beginning of this year, like going in, like if we lose like three, four early, he should be gone. Yeah. You're nine and three. Yeah. A very successful season. Like, I was one of those people that was like, okay, this might be the last year. And then you see maybe Dion can be the next head coach. Like, I was ready for him to go, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, way to just block out the noise, focus on your job, and be very successful at it. Absolutely. Very good season for Florida State. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and look, and you go back to that first week that they, you know, they get the victory over LSU uh, off the mixed extra point. But then – or the blocked extra point – but that you look now at that game and it's like, do you see how high LSU is? That's why I asked the question a week ago with, you know, what will it take for Florida to get up there or Florida State to get up there? Obviously, they're too far down there, and especially with the three losses. Yeah. But beating an LSU, that game just looks better and better and better because Florida State's offense is coming correct, man. Well, I mean, if you look at college football, you've got Florida State, who was at 16, they won. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame, USC play. Michigan, Ohio State play. Kansas State plays a tough game. Oregon plays a tough game. Utah plays a tough game. Like, there's a lot of teams right above them yeah. that have the chance to fall below them. Yeah. So, FSU could push maybe top 10 here, mm -hmm. realistically. Oh, I, like I don't think they'll hit the top 10, but fall just outside it. And so, you know what, man, and and the one thing I think this does do, um, and it's something that has not been there for a while, it brings back that credibility to Florida State. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, some of us, we remember the 2000 when, you know, Peter Warwick and how dominant that team was with Governor Coach Bowden. Then, obviously, Jameis Winston had his year uh, where they won yeah. the national championship, and that was solid. But, I mean, we I think we could both agree they've fallen off these last mm -hmm. couple of years. And to have them back and have at a ten win season, you know, are are, are getting up to yeah, getting up to that, uh, or potentially getting a ten win season, yeah, and getting a solid bowl game, playing high quality matchups late in the year, and then getting a victory over Florida, which they haven't been able to do for a while. Think about that does for recruiting, right? That right. is huge for recruiting, especially beating Florida. Beating these in state teams is huge, yeah, because. A lot of these, like, for for example, Michigan-Ohio State, there's a lot of recruits that watch that game that are being recruited heavily by both uh, both teams. Exactly. That that can make or break a person's recruiting. Like, yeah, yeah that, that's huge for FSU. And, and I mean, uh, Yeah, I think – I agree. I think they'll just miss the New Year's Six game, but they'll, they'll still get a very good bowl. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I mean, it says something. And like you, like you alluded to earlier, we had Norvell on our hot seat in the mm -hmm. beginning of this season. You know, we had him out there as somebody that would could potentially go to so have the turnaround that he had. And then to your point about him winning the games in state gets the win over Florida. They destroyed, destroyed Miami 45 to three. So yeah, the fact that they put up 45 in multiple games, I mean, they put up 44 against Boston college this offense led by Travis is playing, I mean, legit and at the right time, at yep. the right time. So obviously they'll need some help, but yeah, we shall definitely see where they fall. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this 
becomes available. 